Hey guys, how's it going? Tim here again for Droid Life, bringing you another video, this time a software overview of Android 2.0 on the all-new LG Watch Sport. Uh, as you may know, Android Wear has received uh, quite a large update with this uh, 2.0 over the last, you know, the actual initial version of Android Wear. A lot of things have changed, and especially on this uh, brand new hardware from LG and Google, we sort of just wanted to run through all of the changes and maybe show you a few of the unique things you can accomplish uh, with, with the uh, Watch Sport. So let's dive right into it. Uh, the first thing you'll notice, uh, notice probably when you put on the watch is that you've got these uh, large buttons here uh, at the 2 o'clock position and the 4 o'clock position, uh, right, uh, uh, sort of flanking the sort of digital crown or the uh, rotating crown right here on, at the 3 o'clock position. And what's nice is that these uh, buttons actually act as shortcuts into applications or just shortcuts into actions that you can do on the watch. So, for example, if I tap on that 2 o'clock position uh, button, it is a shortcut into uh, Google Fit and different workouts that I can uh, do or that the watch can track, such as walking, biking, running, push-up challenge. And uh, as you will notice, I can rotate through all of this or kind of scroll through them without having to muddy up my screen and touching it with my dirty finger. I can actually just rotate on the crown here. Absolutely love this. Uh, the same functionality can be found on the uh, LG Watch style, uh, but I'm really liking this. It's you know somewhat similar to uh, the Samsung line of uh, watches, the Gear watches uh, that has a rotating bezel, but instead just sort of that rotating crown. I've noticed that when it's on my wrist, uh, it's not necessarily kind of hard to reach or hard to operate um, you know given that the watch is so thick it actually sits up for my wrist quite a bit so I have enough room for me to get my finger in there and um, that sounded terrible anyway backing out of that uh, inside any application or any type of menu settings uh, we can just go ahead and click on our home button and it'll take us right back to home uh, also if I press down in the four o'clock position I will dive straight into Android pay and um, I, naturally I have the best bank in the world and they don't support uh, Android pay or Samsung pay so NFC is a functionality on the watch board that I can't even really necessarily uh, take advantage of yet I'm hoping that support is coming soon I mean come on it's 2017 right uh, again you could just press home or you can swipe out of everything uh, that's also very similar to the previous version of Android where actually it's the same uh, whenever inside an application or a settings you can just swipe to the right and in that left side will uh, you know it either be the previous menu page or your actual home depending on where uh, from the home screen here your actual home watch face I have this one set you can um, also set different uh, complications uh, such as a pedometer or a calendar events etc etc and to do so all you need to do is like on the last version of Android where you just long press on it and that'll bring up different uh, customization options so I can change what type of data which is um, the number of complications and then I can also uh, customize which complications I'm using so like I said you've got uh, kind of maybe a, like a heart rate or a goal thing calendar and then um, uh, beyond choosing which I can choose how many um, so for this watch face itself I can only choose up to three but different watch faces allow you to choose um, uh, a different amount of complications I think the biggest one I saw was like up to eight complications don't know why anyone would uh, need uh, eight complications but hey you never know maybe you're a busy person uh, moving on you can also choose different styles for each watch face uh, this one's a little bit different where this one only allows you to choose the color and uh, I will show you uh, uh, different watch face that allows you to change uh, not only the style but the data and um, what else you're seeing so to change your watch face instead of long pressing on it uh, which will bring up all those customization options you actually just swipe either to the right or to the left and that allows you to scroll through your different favorites so this list right here would be the uh, favorites essentially of the watch faces you have but then you can also add and uh, delete favorites that you have if you want to kind of clear up that area so this is a good example of a one that has a lot of different compl uh, complications. Of course, I've got my time. I can have a different time zone, watch battery. I can add phone battery. Uh, I can add how long I've been active today, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And again, to customize all that, I would just long press on it, and then I can uh, dive into different styles. Uh, this one it shows I can choose sort of an analog look versus a digital. I can have another analog style, and then I can also scroll through that uh, to get to different colors. 
definitely a nice touch. I mean, if you compare this to the last version of Android Wear, it's really been switched up, and you can really choose um, sort of a uh, look that you feel is uh, more personalized or tailored to your, your style, your individuality. And uh, like I said, look at all these complications. You can have four complications, so you can have different time zones, and of course you can just tap on those, and you can choose uh, which application or shortcut you want. I can choose one for Google Play Music if I want, and then that's added right on there. So it'll be on my home screen next time I need it. And uh, it's good to have, say, for example, if you want to have a different watch face for your work uh, that has different complications on it, if you want a watch face uh, for the gym that has all of your Google Fit data complications on it, it's definitely a nice touch. Uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. I will say, so for some of the applications, as you see right here with Google Play Music, uh, it just shows an icon, not necessarily. It doesn't really go along with this theme, so it would be nice if maybe some of the options or the you know the developers behind third-party applications of course play music is a Google application but for example if I just had a third-party application and I wanted a shortcut on it it would be cool if it would just provide maybe a white text or something that goes along uh, with the different themes that I'm running still nice touch uh, notifications are have changed quite a bit in Android Wear 2.0 uh, certainly a bit different from the last version you still get to scroll through them and of course you can if you're just on the home screen you can just use your rotating uh, crown there and get into them uh, unlike last versions Android Wear 2.0 does allow you to hand write messages and I'll show you what that looks like it's not the greatest thing I mean thankfully this is the watch sport has sort of a large display 1.38 inch plastic OLED display so it's rather large the resolution is good um, but maybe if you've got sort of large fingers or something I have long fingers not necessarily like chubby or anything but they're sort of long so it's kind of hard for me to see what exactly I'm writing on. So if I just want to say, hi, what's up? I've actually noticed that it is actually quite good at recognizing what I'm trying to write. And then I can also just delete that. Uh, I can click on the home button to return to the last page. I can draw emoji. Uh, and that is actually real responsive. I've noticed I can draw a smiley face and I'll recognize that as a smiley face. I can draw a sort of like a flame and it will recognize a flame. I can also do something even a bit more intricate. Say I want a, a cake. That looks like a cake, right? Yep, there it is. I can draw a cake, I can draw a car. I'm sorry, forgive my, the worst car ever. Um, well, it got dog, but there we go, there's a car. So good enough, and then of course I can just press on that and send it away. Uh, but I can also dictate, uh, just like on the last Android Wear, thankfully it has a built-in mic, built-in speaker, so I can dictate my message, then send it off. Definitely a nice touch. Uh, of course, one big thing for Android Wear 2.0 is Google Assistant. Uh, so to access that, at least on this watch, and, uh, as well as the watch uh, style, use long press on the power button. What's the weather like? And then, of course, it's going to give me Portland's weather. Definitely nice. And what's cool is that on some inquiries, you know, Google Assistant, at least on Android Wear 2.0, is contextual. So let's give it another example here, or at least give you another example. Who is the President of the United States? So, of course, you get nice, lovely results, uh, complete with picture. And uh, there he is, uh, our president, our current president. And then um, to go into uh, the results a bit deeper, go for that contextual, um, sort of more fulfilling uh, conversation you can have with Google Assistant, you can continue to swipe. How tall is he? And so as you notice, I don't need to say how tall is Donald Trump. Uh, the Google Assistant is contextual enough to know that I'm referring back to my previous inquiry about Donald Trump and it delivers me a height of 6.3 and I can keep that going I can ask who he's married to uh, who is he married to and then of course I get Melania Trump because that is who Donald Trump is married to so having Google Assistant uh, on the watch has been actually a real nice thing you know say if I'm cooking in the kitchen I can just uh, you know tap on my watch and say all right set a timer for five minutes etc etc I can set an alarm reminders all that sort of stuff and then maybe not have to speak too loudly to Google Home I don't want to disturb anyone it's definitely been a nice touch um, if we pull down from the top 
you can see you've got all your sort of basic shortcuts. These used to be split, uh, split up into pages on the previous version of Android Wear, but on Android Wear 2.0, it's just one page, all of your different uh, sort of uh, system toggles. So you got a quick, uh, sort of a quick launch or a shortcut into your brightness. You got a do not disturb settings, uh, volume, and an airplane mode. If we dive into the settings here, as I mentioned uh, previously, you can customize uh, the buttons right here at the two o'clock position, four o'clock position under the personalization settings menu. So uh, under personalization, of course, you can deal with your custom keyboards and accounts and all that. But right here we have customize hardware buttons. So I can switch up instead of going into like a Google Fit workout uh, from my top right. I can dive straight into an alarm or my contacts or a phone or whatever. I can switch up any of it. Uh, same thing with the bottom right. If I don't want Android Pay because my bank sucks and doesn't support them, I can have a shortcut into the Play Store. And then so from the home, I can just dive right into it by clicking that button, and it will dive right into Google Play. Of course, another new thing with Android Wear 2.0 is access to Google Play. So instead of having to browse applications on your phone, I can simply browse them on the watch, and they can install uh, either via the connection on the phone, or this one, of course, has um, LTE connectivity at least through AT&T and Verizon. So I've got uh, my SIM all set up and everything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, dive more into the settings menu, sort of show you what that looks like and how that feels. Again, I can either touch on it or I can scroll right through. And under display, you will find areas for adjusting your brightness, the font size, and you can also choose between whether, whether you want the always on screen on or off. Definitely a nice touch. Uh, if you want your battery to last a little bit longer, definitely uh, you want to deselect that. Um, here's all your volume controls, um, uh, an option for vibrate for calls too. And you, this is also a big one for anyone who doesn't want those notification previews popping up on the bottom portion of their display. Uh, you can simply turn those off. So instead of normal uh, where they show for five seconds or they always show a notification preview, you can just simply just set them as to off. And then moving on, if we come down here a bit, under the app section, uh, this is where all of the pre, uh, not pre-installed, but installed applications are housed. Um, so if you need access to say Facer or any other application you have, that's where you go. However, from the home screen, if you double tap on the power button, not long press, but double tap, this is where you access um, uh, shortcuts and uh, you can dive right into uh, different settings for different applications. Uh, so you can dive into your flashlight, uh, messenger, phone, play music, play store. It's really your one-stop shop for anything you might need on the device. Uh, of course, you've got your Google Now feed still. A lot different from the previous version of Android Wear. This one's definitely not as like card-like, um, but still nice. I can see how badly the Blazers lost and how badly the uh, Warriors lost to the Nuggets. Upset. I can check my weather. And... Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it, at least for Android Wear 2.0 and the settings menu. I will say uh, notifications are being handled uh, quite a bit differently. Uh, so far, I'm not the hugest fan of Android Wear 2.0 notifications. I sort of liked how notifications were once bundled. Um, for example, if I had two uh, text messages uh, in the same application, those would be bundled and not separated. But on Android Wear 2.0, they are separated. Now, I don't know exactly how I feel about that. It's definitely not the worst move ever. Uh, but it would have been nice maybe to have sort of like that card or at least that bundled vibe. Um, other than that, uh, the watch sport itself has been great. Uh, really, I've had it less than 24 hours, so uh, don't quote me yet. Um, we will be having our full review up pretty soon. Just give me a little bit more time to play with it and really dive in. Um, but so far... Uh, really nice, at, at least in terms of Android Wear 2.0. It's been a real improvement, uh, one that I've really actually been enjoying. So definitely a nice touch. Looking forward to using it more. And uh, if you guys have any questions regarding Android Wear 2.0 or maybe the watch sport in general, feel free to hit us up in the comments. And until then, enjoy life. Peace.